Check it out. The Crown Vic, she's finally the victim for the video. I've had some parts for this poor thing sitting in the garage for probably about a year now. Well, in a month, it'll be about a year, all right? But anyways, that's a long dang time, so we need to get them on the car. These boxes here. This one, it's full of goodies. Goodies galore. Man, we got tie rod ends, tie rod pieces, other tie rod pieces. We got upper control arms, we got lower control arms, and some springies. These springies are for the rear because if you're looking at her, she's really low on the back, really tall in the front. Can you, can you see it? See it? Yeah. Not a big fan of the, you know, maybe if it was like this, would be okay. So, anywho, I think we're gonna start with the back because we got the sunlight right here. We're running out of daylight soon. Not really, we got half the day to go. But the sun is dissipating from our workspace and it's kind of chilly today. First chilly day of the season. Well, we gotta do the safety stuff. Chalk her down, lift her up, stuff like that so we can get to them springs. Grandpa already got him as I'm talking. So that means this guy's a slacking. We got our jack stands up, our wheel caps off, and a fully charged impact Rooney. Oh, the stickies. <laughs> Grab our lugaroonies. Dang, them bad boys about to look like fallout anyway. See it? Okay. I think maybe if we just delete on these shocker Roonies that are shot, we'll be good to go. Shoot, they're actually not too rusted. I might be able to unbolt them sons of bees. Pop them shocks out like nothing. Holy cow. Just stuck my wrench in that hole and then I twisted laid it on the bottom. You can tell she wasn't too rusty. She came right off. So. That was nice. Now, the spring looks like she's just about to fall out of here. You see it? You see it? It's coming out. Oh, you see it? You see it? I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. Ah! Okay, it's no big deal. There it is. There it is. The springy. Well, holy cow, that's way taller. Holy cow, that's not gonna fit in there as nice. Look how bad that one, that's old. She got the squishination. That'll fit. It'll go in there, I promise. So these new ones, they're a little taller. And me and grandpa, we don't have a spring compressor tool. But never to fear, we can make our own. Yeah, we got it the same size. 
So I think if we can <clears throat> squish her down a little more, she might snug right up in there. Just fine. We don't want to go too far because we don't want to release these and <laughs> these explode in there and miss the holes. So we're playing her safe. We're going to try it where it's at now. A little nervous though. A little nervous. I'll lock these in so they stay. Sneak this back in this hole it came out. Well, this one didn't come out of it. I'm gonna set this one. Oh, it don't fit. No, girl. <laughs> Phoebe's gone. No, literally, no. <laughs> it's a good girl. So we're going no rubber on the bottom like it was before. Okay. Because the rubber don't fit. All right, is that where it goes? I can't see, I can't see the hole from up there. Beautiful. All right. Can you uh, raise that jack at all? Let me give her a go here. Here, I'll grab this camera. I can't see, so talk to me. Okay, let's stop there and let me look. Okay. Did I hit the pocket? <laughs> I can't see the pocket. So Grandpa had a better plan just to use the jack to lift the rear end up so we can release these nicer. I think we hit the pockets on the top and we are compressing the spring. Oh yeah, let me see. You free now? Oh snap, I can't unlock this because the rear end's in the way. What do I do now? Can you go up more? Yeah. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now I can spin this up. Get this to extend all the way to release. Nice. Now she's releasing. Let go, little buddy. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. It's working. It's working. <laughs> and simply like that, you have a new spring in your Crown Vic with no spring compressor on the dangerous side but it worked is what I'm saying dang simple simple we got the other one in safely a little dangerously but we didn't hurt each other so that's a good thing so I didn't get shocks I gotta go get those so for now we're just gonna put the wheels on and do the front pieces Maybe take some pictures with the rear end up a little because since I've owned this car, she been squishy on the back. And I might uh, do some bendelating on here because you can see my wheel rubs my pipe a little and it's rubbing on my rear end. So while everything's open, I might, might bend on her. Boom, hit the ground without the shocks. She just bouncy. Hmm. She's still going. And still going. Look at the gap Rooney we have now. More appropriate. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but from up here it looks like the front's still higher. Do you see it? It's dang closer to what it was, or uh, to what it should be. Yeah. I might have to cut a coil or half a coil out of this one. Grandpa and I went and had a wonderful warm snack. Took some time. We came back out and got to, to work. We did the stuff that you probably don't want to see. Which is like the wheel and the jack stand. And we also took the shock out. And uh, I don't know if you guys would know, but that's uh, pretty done though to me. Anywho, I'm looking at it. The piece is in here. 
Like there's a lot of grease on this, but the rubber is still good. So I went and looked in there. Those rubbers, they're not all cracked out and they're good. And I didn't even start there. I started on these ones. Look at that. And the lower ball joint still looks good. You probably can't see it because it's in the dark. Now it's not. Look how good it looks. So, then we got tie rods. They look good. The, we don't have much of wiggle front and back, you know, so they're pretty solid. So I don't really think there's a point in um, really replacing them at this point. I think we just grease them and move on. But that doesn't help the fact that there's this rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle when you hit bumps in this thing. So I did some looking and I think I found our issue. I don't know if you can see this bar right here connect into this bar which is our sway bar and that rubber holy cow that's done look at all them splits in it and this one is too this one's completely spliced in a couple pieces look here's a piece of it wonderful so I think that's really what our rattle is So now the plan has changed, and I think I'm just going to leave everything on here, keep everything that I have for when I put airbags on this thing. That's right. I'm going to airbag it. That way we can drop her to the ground. And I'm going to save some work today because, you know, not too bad. Like I was talking earlier, I don't have shocks, so I'll have to go pick them up. But while I pick up the shocks, I'll probably get the bushings and the sway bar links. Because those should be pretty cheap, hopefully. And then we should at least have a solid riding Crown Vic. You're not going to worry about tires. Another day. And then she's one step closer to being able to drive across the country because I'm thinking it's just a thought I, I kind of want to take this on power tour so maybe power tour 2024 Crown Vic will be cruising the states so we got to get our tippy toppy ready to go because I don't want to be on the side of the road and we know what Fords do to you it's a whole new day because time got away from me yesterday. But I went to store to store to store to get the goodies. The shocks nobody had had to order them won't be here till Monday. The sway bar bushings won't be here till Monday. But I did find sway bar links. Front and the backs. So we can get those done. That's the plan. And uh, well, I did get a new parts getter. Check her out. Meat slug. My 69 bug. She's a bit dirty. She got rained on. And it gets dusty out here all the time. So. Now I need to fire up the power washer and give her a bath. That's partially why she's here today too. But let's do some sway bar links. Well, we got the wheel back off. We got the new part. It seems to be the similar-ish as the old one. The only difference I see is this one's got grease zerks and that one doesn't. So that maybe means I got a better quality one because now I'll have to maintain it. 
maybe I got a worse quality one because I have to maintain it. I don't care though because it's gooder than what's in there. So we're gonna probably grease this sucker up before putting it in there because if you look in here, that's a pretty tight space. And the grease gun definitely won't fit in there. Uh oh. We got grease gun failure. Come on, little buddy. We need some grease out of you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't tell me we should have got one of them too. So we searched and we searched and searched. No luck. The other two grease guns that we had, they gone. So I'm gonna have to go pick one of those up tonight. So I figured I'm just gonna put this wheel back on for today. Because why take everything apart? Just... When well, I'm gonna have to get back in here in a couple days. Yo, Toby! Man! It's been like four days since I seen you last. Holy cow. There's no time for you guys, I know it. But I got parts, they came in. Check these out. A greasy gun? I even got a little tip for the 90 side, so maybe we can install the, uh, you know, what are those called? The sway bar links? This is a rare one. We got those. We had those the other day. The shockulators! Holy cow, they got my name on them. Dang. We got some grease and some sway bar bushings for the front. So now, we can finish up the old Crown Vic and go have a good time because this car is a good time. Let's get her up. Let's get her up. What are we waiting for? Where am I going? Oh. Oh, oh. Come back. A little back. A little back. There we go. I'm good. Looks good to me. Oh, the jacket didn't like it. Ugh. We're almost there, little buddies. Finally off. Gosh darn, got the whole car up. The front one's up almost. Oh, my shades. My shades. All right, looks like a familiar sight. So look at this, that's one sway bar link. Don't look too bad. I'm just kidding, it looks horrible. So we need to get that off. Then we need to put our other shock elator in. But I think it would be easier to do this link before we do the shock, so let's do that. All right, so I got the bolts out. Grandpa's gonna lower this rear end for me so we get the bolt out. And the sway bar should just come down with it, I believe. Look at that. Did you see it? Right there's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we have a sway bar leak. Hey, look, they actually had a place to put a wrench. Oh. Good thing I got my vice grip. We're working on a sway bar link, as you know. And while this one's a little bit different, kind of made me nervous at first. Cause look at this thing. Look at what I have. But, whoops. I, uh, you know, lengthen that. That's right in between them washers. So if you add one of these washers on each side of that, and then you put a rubber on each side of that, right? Then you would put one of these on the end of those. Cause you need the rubber's in there, like this. And then you put your nut on there. So this is the lineup you'll have. And once you get to that point, you've gotta feed this bolt from the bottom 
up, you know, because the way these attach. And you got to put together the pieces better than you do a sandwich because you can't just slap on a different layer and a different process. You know, they got to go correct. But once you get in there, you should have something like this. You know, bolt, washer, rubber, sway bar, rubber, washer, spacer thing, washer, rubber, rubber, washer, nut. Perfect. That's how it should look. Not too bad. Looks way better in here. And it really points out at how bad them uh, dang exhaust hanger rubbers are. Those need to get replaced before they fall off. Because they're all like that. Holy cow. This one's not even hanging on to anything. You see it? Now that the dang sway bar link is done, we get to the shockulator, the most like wanted or needed part this whole car is needed in a long time grab our hardware and our goodies let's have a good time boom baby look at that nice new shock and that spring and that nice new soy bar link dang can't even see the sticker can't even tell they're monroes dang it oh well Put the wheel on. Get to the other side so we can see how she looks. Shocks, planks on the rear end. They're all done. We're about to take it off the jack stand right now and uh, see how the stance looks compared to how it used to. From our memory, of course, because I didn't take pictures for before and after. Holy cow. With all that room room in that rear. We didn't have that much before. Moving on to the front here. And well, I don't know if you could tell, but the shock put up a fight. And the uh, sway bar link that I figured would be a pain is coming right out. It's weird. Started taking a whooping again. I had to stop, put my thinking cap on. So I'm trying to do the sway bar link, as you know. And while she's stuck in the sway bar, she won't come out. I beat on it for a minute. Well that, you know, it's so tight in here. I said, well shoot, I'll just drop this whole sway bar because I got bushings I gotta put on here anyway. And then I can beat on it in the free open. So that caused me to jump over to this side and take this wheel off. So now that I can take this nut off to get the sway bar out of there after I get those two nuts off too. Wasn't too hard, I got it out. Boom. Hope that was on camera. That was actually pretty cool, but look at that! Look at that! I need, uh... That part. That part. Yeah, this bushing is definitely done. Cut it right off of there, though. And, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I put some grease in there. You should be able to hear it. Slipped her on, put the new thingy on, so that side's good. We'll get uh, that one set up. Put our new little end in here real fast. Sneak it up back in there. I don't know if you could see in there, but the shock, it's in. We got our new bushings, they're in. Our new sway bar links, they're in. So I gotta say, it's about time to put these wheels on, drop her down, take her for a test drive. Got a little guy, he's hanging out with me. Last few moments of the night. Look at that new shock poking through down there, see her? Dang. Even all twisted, this thing looks a lot better. So let's get this last tire on, right over here. 
so we can get her on the ground and see what she really looks like. She's on the ground and looking wonderful, let me tell you what. Take a peek for yourself. Do you see it? Dang. She's not all high up front anymore. She's not all saggy in the back anymore. Dang. Dang, I'm pleased. I can't wait to drive this, but it's getting pretty late. So I'll probably do that tomorrow during the daytime so I could do some recording for you guys, you know, so you could seize it. So that's gonna be a night for tonight. All I could think about today was my crown Vic. It's so fast for you guys, but today it was a long day for me. But it's out of the garage. She's just looking beautiful. Look how level she looks compared to how she started. Bye. And I could already feel from the little bumpies over there by the garage that this thing is solid. Man, I'm. let's take her for a cruise. So I do know that down here at the end of Grandpa's driveway, he's got some big old Humpty Dumpties. Nothing better than to test out a new suspension. So let's see what we can do. just a small one let me flip this around I'll show you the the deep I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can even tell but anywho I don't even know if you can see this hole right here let's give us it's a big hole right here can you see it Here's the bottom, and the dirt level's up here. Cam down here. Dang. Can't even see the dang hole. But what I bet you will see is that suspension move. change up we're in slug the bug look at that fired right up look at my little sweatshirt shifter knob cover <laughs>
quite dirty, she needs a bath, but man, this thing is a treat. It's just a joy to drive. I've been enjoying it quite often. It just sounds good. Look at the bug, look how tiny next to dad's truck. You live guy. Shoot, Honda's almost bigger than Slug. I'm glad she'll be safe. Man, I hope you made it this far in the video to be able to see me enjoy a little bit of bug. I mean, Slug the bug, you know. So yeah, that's right. We're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me. Do a little bit of suspension stuff on the Crown Vic. The Crown Vic over here. This one. The one that's out there that I'm going to be taking home. So please give me a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Please, I'm begging. Thank you for watching. Come back next week.